sectors transition to sustainable, equitable, and regenerative models, really every job has the capacity to be a green job. Really heavy emitting industries are decarbonizing to meet net zero goals. So food and agriculture, fashion and design, manufacturing, education, business, really every industry is shifting. I think that's one of the things that's most exciting about the green economy is just the sheer number and diversity of green careers out there. What were formerly known as soft skills that were undervalued are being increasingly recognized for their value and importance. Through our climate programs, we give young people the opportunity to build transferable skills. So this includes things like design thinking, project management, um, communication, leadership, and all of these skills will support them in many different career paths that they can choose. For some folks watching, those skills might sound elementary, but actually deploying them efficiently is really sophisticated work because we need real transformative change. And that requires co-creating solutions with new and unlikely partners, with community stakeholders across different industries and facets of life. So learning to listen acutely for shared values, find common ground where tensions or pushback exists is really a critical piece of being a professional in this space. And you don't need to have studied environmental science or environmental studies um, in order to make a difference. You can use your skills and passions for climate. So whether you have skills in engineering, graphic design, health science, sociology, um, so many different things, you know, you can use those skills for a career you're passionate about that makes a difference on climate change and YCI's programs can help you get there.